So it seems like I've been thinking about buying the Metaspeed Sky for a very long time. I wanted it last year and I just kept putting it off. I don't know why, maybe it's because it's a very expensive shoe. And then it got towards the end of the year and I started hearing the rumors about the Metaspeed Sky 2 or the Metaspeed Sky Plus coming out and I knew I wanted to wait for the next version. Well, the next version is here and I have to say I'm pretty glad I picked up the Metaspeed Sky Plus. Now, most people have heard of this shoe. ASICS has been running a solid media campaign on the Metaspeed Sky Plus and the Metaspeed Edge Plus. Now, full disclosure, I did buy these shoes with my own money. No one is paying me to review these shoes, so this is really my own opinion. One thing that has given me pause over the last year, and especially so moving into this year, as I knew that the Metaspeed Sky Plus and the Metaspeed Edge Plus were being released, is the difference between the two. Now, I'm not sure. On the surface, it seems like a mistake for ASICs to have two different pairs of the same shoe, because I went back and forth a lot to decide on the Metaspeed Sky Plus, rather than buying the Metaspeed Edge Plus. Okay, first things first, let's talk about price. In the US, these are $250. In the UK, they are £225. They're right there in the super shoe pricing category. And before we go any further, yes, I know they are very expensive. Super shoes are outrageously expensive. And yet, if you can swing it, I think it's worth it. Remember, just my opinion. So let's go into a few of the differences, because if you're watching this, perhaps you are thinking about the Metaspeed Sky or the Metaspeed Edge Plus. Oh, I should say that I have not run in the Metaspeed Edge Plus. I really wish I could, especially after running in the Sky Plus. I would love nothing more than to take the Edge Plus out and just see how they feel, compare them against the Sky Plus. But that is not gonna happen. I don't plan on spending another $250 on a relatively similar pair of shoes. So ultimately the difference is the Metaspeed Sky Plus is for stride runners and the Metaspeed Edge Plus is for cadence runners. So what is a stride runner and what is a cadence runner? We all run with a particular cadence and we all have a particular stride. Well, the difference comes down to how you run when you're picking up the pace. So with the Metaspeed Sky Plus made for stride runners, ASICS has formulated this shoe for the type of runner that extends their stride as they pick up the pace. With the Metaspeed Edge Plus, ASICS has formulated that shoe for the type of runner that increases their cadence as they pick up the pace. Now, you are probably thinking the exact same thing that I did in that when I pick up the pace and generally when anyone picks up the pace when they're running, both their stride and their cadence increase. Well, there's a, there's a subtle difference. If you are a stride runner, your stride is going to increase to a greater degree than your cadence picking up. And the inverse of that is true for the Edge Plus. Your cadence picks up at a greater ratio to when you're running slow than your stride increases. Now it's funny because when I think about picking up the pace, when I'm in a race and I'm redlining and I want to just pick up the pace, I want to eke out every little bit of speed I can, I try and increase my cadence. I try and just pick up that pace to kind of throw in an extra step and invariably without making it seem like I'm putting in a bigger effort. With that said, after I look at my numbers from loads of runs, it appears I am definitely a stride runner. My stride length does increase more when I'm running fast than my cadence does, relatively speaking. I don't know if that made sense. If you have specific questions about the difference between the Sky Plus and the Edge Plus, go ahead and write them in the comments. I'm happy to answer. But today I'm going to be speaking about the Metaspeed Sky Plus because that's what I have. That's what I've had experience running in. And you will see on ASICS website that the Metaspeed Sky Plus has 33 millimeters in the heel and 28 millimeters in the forefoot. But you should know that ASICS doesn't report the actual stack height. Those numbers are just the midsole foam. The actual stack height is 39 millimeters in the heel, 34 millimeters in the forefoot for a five millimeter drop. And for those of you who are wondering, the Metaspeed Edge Plus has an eight millimeter drop. The Metaspeed Sky Plus weighs in at 7.2 ounces or 205 grams for a US men's size nine. But in my size, US men's size 13, the shoe weighs in at 8.8 .8 ounces or 250 grams. For me, that is an incredibly light shoe. In fact, really anything under 10 ounces in my size, I am always impressed with. However, because this shoe is made to go fast and when you run fast, you tend to put in a bit more of an effort. And when I put in an effort, here in the summer in Florida, I tend to sweat a bit. So after one of my runs in this shoe, it did put on a bit of weight. The Metaspeed Sky Plus increased its weight to 10.1 ounces or 284 grams, which is a 13.6% weight increase pre-run to post-run. Oh, and I do have to say that ASICS has just knocked it out of the park with this colorway. Of course, this is the only colorway that's offered right now, but ASICS calls this the Velvet Pine Safety Yellow colorway. Pretty sweet. Okay, let's start at the top. Let's work our way down. So you'll notice first off the heel collar on this shoe. It is 
isn't micro thin like you might expect from a super shoe. The heel collar is actually fairly padded, but having a heel collar like this contributes to a very comfortable fit. The heel counter is actually fairly rigid too, which again, just gives that support around your ankle. I didn't experience any heel slip when wearing this shoe. Oh, and let's just take a step back for a second. The Asics Metaspeed Sky Plus does fit true to size. I know there are a lot of people last year saying that the first version of the Metaspeed Sky was just running a little small. I have not found that to be the case with the Metaspeed Sky Plus. Asics has included their laces with the little teeth on the edges of the laces that you have probably seen before. And I'm glad they did it because these teeth just give a little extra support. It's like a little, it's a safety blanket. Because when you tie these shoes, the teeth all lock together and these laces do not come untied, which is the one thing that you want your laces to do or not do. Come untied. Asics has improved their upper on the Metaspeed shoes for this year and they're using a very lightweight, what they're calling motion wrap. And really I've got nothing but good things to say about it. The upper combined with the laces gives a solid lockdown across your midfoot. I found it to be a very comfortable shoe when moving fast. There are no overlays on the Metaspeed Sky Plus, except maybe little circles around the eyelet holes, just to give that a little bit of resiliency when you're yanking on the laces to get them tight. And because there are no overlays when your foot isn't in it, it just tends to kind of flop down. Probably should have stuffed it with some tissue paper for this video. Let's talk about the tongue. Tongue is not gusseted. Was that a collective gasp I heard? It's kind of like a suede material. Can you see this? And it's perforated, I'm guessing for ventilation purposes. And there's absolutely no padding running down the middle. Now, a lot of times you will see just a little bit of padding in the middle of the tongue, just to stop those laces from biting in. But again, I found the shoes to lock down beautifully and I didn't have any discomfort on the top of my foot. And really, although this tongue is not gusseted, and let's be honest, everybody likes a good gusset, I didn't notice it missing when it mattered. So when I was out there running fast, the tongue wasn't sliding around. And let's get down to the midsole, because this is the moneymaker. And I think this is the most aesthetically pleasing part of the shoe. And that's this big chunk of Flight Foam Blast Turbo right in the forefoot. I just like how this looks. It's like a big muscle car with a big front end. So in this shoe, the Metaspeed Sky Plus, it does have a full length carbon plate, right? We know that, but its positioning is key. And in the Sky Plus, Asics has positioned the carbon fiber plate a little higher as it comes along the side and then into the forefoot. And that's to give the stride runners a little more cushion underneath the carbon fiber plate, which gives us stride runners a little more bounce in our step. That's the thought behind it. I found it, I found it very comfortable. And it did work. It seemed like the shoes were just bouncing me along. Let's come down to the outsole. Asics has included a nice amount of Asics grip and I found it to be incredibly grippy even when I'm running on wet surfaces. And clearly this shoe is designed for the faster runner because when we pick up the pace, we do tend to land more on our forefoot. And that is a reason for the abundance of forefoot rubber here. Asics does bring this rubber down the side and then there is a little white piece of rubber here on the outside. And this is here for us heel strikers. I know at least for me, I tend to heel strike at lower speeds and when I start getting sloppy at the end of a race, my heel tends to hit the ground a little more. I'm hoping that this tiny piece of rubber on the outside is enough to soften my landing, to not wear down that midsole. But from right about here, back through the middle, we have all exposed midsoles. So if you heel strike somewhere right towards the back in the middle, you are quickly gonna wear down this midsole right around here. Okay, let's talk about ride, because arguably that is the most important thing when you're buying a shoe like this, when you're spending $250, $225 pounds, you want the ride to be pretty good. And I found it extremely similar to the Nike Next Percent 2, which up until now has been my super shoe of choice. But as the year goes on and the weather cools down, I'm really looking forward to racing a marathon in this shoe. And I had that same type of feeling that the Nike Next Percent 2 does. And I kind of liken it to running on a juice box, but that juice box, as soon as you land and you compress it, it immediately pops back into shape. And I know that is a horrible description of how a shoe rides, but that's kind of what the Nike Next Percent and this shoe kind of makes me feel. And like most shoes with a carbon fiber plate, this shoe does tend to come to life when you run a bit faster. Now on the several runs that I've done in this shoe, I usually go for a warm up before I either hit my tempo pace or before I hit interval. And I gotta say that when I was running easy, when I was doing the warm up and the cool down, I found the shoe to be actually very comfortable and very stable. And I think that is something to pay attention to when you're looking for a super shoe. Because when we get these super shoes and they have an enormous stack height, a lot of them are going right up to the limit. We've got 39 millimeters here. You know, the limit's 40 if you wanna use these shoes in competition. When we get that much stack height, the shoes tend to become a little unstable. And the best thing about the A6 Metaspeed Sky Plus is its stability. It is very stable at low speed. It is very stable at high speeds. When I was running up and down curbs or going around corners, there was no feeling that my foot was gonna slide off the top of the midsole. And that's exactly how I feel when I'm running in the Nike Next Percent 2s. They're all well and good in a straight line. But once you start 
moving around, getting a little lateral movement, they start to feel very unstable. And one more difference about the Metaspeed Sky Plus and Metaspeed Edge Plus is the rocker. You'll notice that it is a very late stage rocker here in the Sky Plus, but in the Edge Plus, it tends to start just a little bit further back. Take that for what it's worth. The shoe is designed for a different kind of runner. Okay, so who is this shoe for? I think this shoe is for anyone that wants to run fast, that wants to get the benefit out of a top-notch carbon fiber plated racing shoe. It is surprising how good this shoe feels when you start running fast. I think it is a worthy competitor to the Nike Next% Percent 2. And I have to say that this is the first shoe that I have run in that I can actually say that it is a competitor to the Next% Percent 2. And that's pretty high praise for the Sky Plus. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, if you've liked hearing about the A6 Metaspeed Sky Plus, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe because once I get a little more miles in this shoe and once I've done a few races, you don't want to hear my opinions on that. Up until now, I've only done fast training runs in the shoe, but I'm going to put it through its paces, see what it can do. All right, my friends, thanks for staying all the way to the end of the video. Be kind, be happy, run well. I'll see you in a couple of days.